Hey guys! So, after saying that I'm not really going to be doing any hauls, I did want to do this one just because I've missed showing you guys what I get when I go buy new fun makeup items. And it's not really so much that I want to stop shopping for makeup entirely, so much as just that I want to make sure that what I'm buying is stuff that I'm buying because I truly, genuinely want it, not just because I want some quick thrill of buying makeup, not because I'm telling myself, oh, I'm just going to buy it to review it, or anything like that. So with that being said, first I am going to start off with Sephora. I, like I said in my last video, I actually work at Sephora, and I am going to be quitting there when I move back home, so I've basically got this week to use my employee discount, and I'm trying very hard to not just impulsively buy things, but there were some things that I wanted to try out. In addition, we get 20% off of most items, but then 40% off of Sephora collection. So it's kind of like, well, 20% off, you know, I could live without that. But 40% off of the Sephora collection items, I really want to take advantage of that if there's anything that I want. So first I got some cleansers, or cleansing wipes basically. I got a mini size of the Express Cleansing Wipes, and these are kind of just their most basic generic ones, and I guess that's the reason that they're sold out of the big size, but figured I'd get these and try them out. And then there are these, which are the Express Cleansing and Purifying Wipes. It doesn't say the percentage, but these have salicylic acid in them, plus they come in a pretty green package, so clearly I needed them. I believe that regularly these re retailed for $4, these are $9, and then these are also $9. They are the Express Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. So I'm not entirely sure how I feel about these. I did actually try both of these yesterday. And I think that my skin may have reacted badly to the eye makeup remover wipes. I'm not sure, but after I would say almost a month of not having any breakouts whatsoever, I do have kind of a spot like above my eyebrows, so that could either be from the eye makeup wipe or it could be from the face wipe. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to test that a little bit better. So I do intend to keep testing those out. Maybe, I mean, I'm probably not going to use all of them up if it becomes evident that one of them is actually breaking me out, but I would like to let you guys know how those work. And then the next thing in my little bag here is just the, what is this, double action eye makeup remover. I think this is from Lancome. Yes, from Lancome. It for some reason comes in this big bag. This was just a 100 point perk. Next I got the Art at Your Fingertips nail kit. It comes like this in this cute little pink thing, which I am right after this going to go donate to Goodwill. So I actually first saw this online and it was $15 on sale from $34 the original price. And $15 isn't a bad price, but because I can get it for 40% off if I can find it in the store, I figured I'd go look in the store. So it comes with this little case and then inside the case it's got four brushes plus two little nail art. Oops, that worked well got two little nail art things and they are the kind where you can unscrew it and it's a nail art brush or you pull I think well I can't figure it out I got it off earlier but this is the sort of like dotting pen I didn't really want these so much the main thing that I wanted it for was one of these brushes so as you can see here, it does come with three brushes and a dotting tool. The main brush that I wanted was this one right here, the sort of flat one for cleaning up around the edges. The next thing that I got was the Sephora Colorful Shadow and Liner Waterproof 12 Hour blah 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 in number 17 black. And this is a fat eyeliner pencil thing. I'm not going to open it up and swatch it right now just because I don't want it all over my hands, but the reason that I got this was because it makes a great eye base. So if I wanted to do something with sort of a duochrome pigment over the top, this would just make a nice black base. It is very opaque even when you blend it out with your finger. I mean obviously I tested it on my hand, but you can blend it out so you can get kind of a gradient transition but it still has really, really intense pigmentation. The next item that I got is also kind of an eyeliner. It is the Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear. This color is in Blonde Ambition and it's going to stay sealed. Actually, let me find 
So here is my opened one. So this one that I just bought is a backup. That is what it looks like. Hopefully it's showing up. I am actually filming kind of during the day. There's not a whole lot of sun, but I think that the lighting is actually better. So anyways, it's this really pretty color. I love this for in my waterline because I find that the sort of not exactly matte finish, but non-shimmery colors just look weird in my eyes, I think. But maybe that's just because I'm looking super close. But I really love this one. The last thing that I picked up from Sephora is the Josie Marion Argan Color Stick in Red. And I was kind of playing with this in the store yesterday. I had honestly never noticed this product before. But yesterday I was stocking the display and I saw it and I kind of got the idea that it would look really good on my lips because I've been really into more natural lip colors. I'm not planning on using this as a cheek color. It is a cheek and lip color, but that's not what I'm planning on using it for. So that's what it looks like. Just a big fat thing. Comes with all this random packaging. And that is what it looks like there on my hand. So you can see it's a fairly sheer color. So I tried it on on my lips. I walked around the store for a while, you know, just to kind of see how it wore on the lips and after you know not that I spent an hour in the store or anything but after about an hour it still looked pretty good it still looked even over my lips you know it didn't recede into the lines or anything like that so I wanted to go take a look before I move and leave the area and they don't have Fred Meyers where I live so I restrained myself and I was actually really proud I only bought two things the first is this nail polish that I'm wearing right now. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is the Essence Color To Go in, let's see, 173 Over the Rainbow, and it says I'm trendy, so that you you know how popular you are going to be if you wear this color. You're, you're gonna be trendy too. Um, I really like it. I think it's a fabulous color for Easter. It's kind of a periwinkle color with a bright blue flash to it, and this is $1.99, I believe. Then I got one of, well, I think I saw spaces for three new palettes, but there were only two there. There was another one that was kind of very light pastel colors. There was kind of peachy tones and a mint color, and I didn't get that one because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to use mint eyeshadows, but I did get this All About Chocolates palette, and it is gorgeous. I looked up swatches online, and thought that these looked really nice. One reason why I really wanted this was because it's got that sort of matte-ish shade there. So you've got the highlight shade, you've got a shimmery lid shade, you've got some darker crease shades, and this seemed like it would be a fantastic palette for traveling, for doing a quick everyday look. Let me just swatch these for you so you can see. Don't know how well that's going to show up, but there they swatch pretty well even without primer, so I imagine that with primer they will be awesome. So after restraining myself at Fred Meyer, I actually still restrained myself, but I went to Walmart and I've seen a lot of people posting about the new Wet n Wild contour duos. Unfortunately, the Walmart that I went to, I, I know that I want Dulce de Leche. Like, I know that that's the one I want. And they only had, I think it's called Caramel Truffle, which is the other one. It's the slightly more red and pink toned. I almost bought it. I wanted to buy it. And then I was like, no, you know what? We're just going to wait until we find the one that we know looks good on you. So I waited. I'm still probably going to buy that one if I see it, but did not buy that yet. I did, however, buy some other things. So first I bought this kind of random thing. It's called the Nailtastic Twist. And I get nail polish bottles stuck often enough that I figured this would be worth trying out. I wish that they had colors besides pink glitter, but you know, you take what you can get. I believe this was $2.97, so next time I encounter a stuck nail polish bottle, I'll try this out and hopefully let you guys know how it goes. I also picked up the e.l.f. smudge pot in Ain't That Sweet, and I should probably open it and give you a swatch. I have tried several of these, and by several I mean like two, and I think the one, the other one that I have that I really like is called Cruise and Chic. I really love that one. So we're just going to, hmm, this is actually very underwhelming. Let's see. 
Yeah, well, that's, I guess, could be like a face highlight or something. It's it's there in my hand, and you're going to see the Sephora eyeliner swatch there. It is under that, and it hardly shows up at all. It's, it's very creamy feeling going on, but doesn't show up at all, so that might be getting destashed fairly soon. So I have heard about these online, and I wanted to try them out for myself. This is the first Acetone Power Gel No Rub, and it's two different nail polish removers. The mostly yellow one says it's for stubborn dark polish, and the pink one says it's for glitter and nail art. So I kind of wanted to try both of these out, see how well they work, and I will probably do a review on them. But yeah, from the reviews that I've seen so far, they looked pretty promising. Okay, so those were, I believe, $3.97 each, and then next to those for $2.97, I found this glitter nail polish remover gel, and so I figured for $3, why don't I try this and see if I like this as well, or like this better, or whatever. So I'm excited to try these, plus, you know, more excuses to paint my nails with glitter, of course I will take that. I completely randomly picked up the Aveeno Positively Nourishing Energizing Pomegranate and Grapefruit Body Lotion because pomegranate and grapefruit are two of my favorite fruit scents, like in lotion and body... Pro I mean, they're also my favorite... among my favorite fruits to eat, but I mean, I see a lot of citrus stuff and I see a lot of pomegranate stuff, but the combination of them was kind of unique as far as I am aware. I've never seen anything like that, and I loved the smell. It is very fresh and fruity and I'm excited about this. So one of the benefits of having recently gone through all of my nail polish as well as my makeup and my clothing, although I didn't buy any clothing today, but I kind of have a much better idea now of what I like and what I don't like and what I still want. And so one of the things that I wanted was sort of a multicolored pink matte glitter nail polish and I found one. It is from Hard Candy, so these are $3.97 each. This one is called Flower Bomb. And yeah, that's not the name of a perfume or anything. And so I'm excited to try this over some like pinkish, coralish, or maybe even like a purple color or something. But I just have so many blue and green glitters, and I don't really have anything in the pink and orange range. The Flower Kiss Me Twice Lip and Cheek Chubby in Apricot A Lot. And. Hmm. That looks significantly different than it did in online swatches, and the cap is kind of frosty. So I think that this actually might look best as a cheek color on me. I don't have any cream blushes, so I will try this out and see how it works. Next, also from Flower Beauty, is the Sheer Up Lip Tint in Lacy Laurel. This is what the product looks like, and there's a swatch on my hand. I absolutely love this kind of lip color, and this was sort of what I discovered I really like while I was going through my collection. I don't actually like super pigmented lip products. I like to be more dramatic with my eye looks, and then on my lips I like it to be fairly sheer, very natural looking, just kind of a tint of sheer color basically. Next I got the Burt's Bees 100% Natural Lip Crayon in Sedona Sands. Now this is a product that I know that I like and I have in different colors. So there is a swatch of it right there on my hand. Very nice natural color with a slight pink tint. I think that I will get a lot of use out of this one. Finally, I've got two of the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks, and I have them in Bright Berry and Soft Raspberry. I believe it's Kaylee Noel talks about these, and she says she really likes them. So right there is Bright Berry. And this was another product that I also knew that I liked because I do have the color Fresh Papaya, but she says that Soft Raspberry is her favorite color, so we will try that out. Ooh, that is a gorgeous color. There is Soft Raspberry right there. So that is it for my relatively restrained, self-controlled haul. I wanted to try out some of the things that Hard Candy has brought out lately, but then after I had this little breakout thing happen, I mean, I know that for most people they just eagerly try new things and then if something breaks them out they complain a little bit and move on and for me that just that's not how it happens when I break out it stays bad for like weeks or months so I just realized that I really don't want to take chances I mean I'm already not buying things to review I might as well not buy things just to try them out when I already have products that I know work really well for me I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you would like to keep seeing more from me, it would mean a lot if you would subscribe and like this video. I know everybody says that, but 
you know, it helps. It, I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.